महोदया अत्र सम्मिलिता पंडिता मम भाषण से आध्यक्ष मोड़ मधुसूदन प्राज सस्यषण पूर्व इंग्लिश भाषा श्रुत सतोषेण एवं तदधिकृत इदानीमेक श्लोक लिखिमी इच्छा परंतु भाषण अंत अहम दास्यामी विनय उत्तर संस्कृत काचिवाता दातव्याण इदानी यद्यपि पीपीटी शक्ति दर्शन पवर पॉइंट प्रसन्टेशन शक्ति दर्शन अस्म अद्वैतपीठे शक्ति दर्शन तिस्र शक्ति दर्शन एवं अस्माक संप्रदाय श्रीवैष्णव संप्रदाय महालक्ष्म मुख्यत्व अतीव विद्यते एवं महालक्ष्म सन्निधि गस्माक श्री श्री रंगनाथ से सन्निधि गाँवी एवं इधं प्रथम मम सुहृत सुंदरराज स्टेट बैंक डीजीएम आगत एवं मम छात्र डाक्टर आयुर्वेद वैद्या निवेदिता आगता अनतर समीपस्थ मैत्री आसी मीरा रमण एवं मम भ्राता आगत मम अग्रज सह माधव मित्री अत्र अस्त अन्े अपरिचिता अभी इधं सुहृद इदानी भोजना परम किंचित निद्रा आगछति अनतर निद्राया परम बुभुक्षा जायते विशस् सैकल एवं तथा इधं मैं किंचित पिवर्ति अस्ी विष्णुमोहन भू भूमिका मोहन भूमिकायां एक एक श्लोक प्रकाशि ब्रोशर् मध्ये एवं तत् किंचित पिवर्ति मध्वाचार्येण साकं तौ श्रीराजशंक संप्राप्ति मोक्षसाम्राज्ये सी डी ची डी इंग्लिश सी डी सी डी चक्रतु किल मणिप्रवाषायां एक श्लोक मैं प्रदर्शि एक श्लोक प्रदर्शि इधं अग्रे गा संस्कृत नहीं तमिल पेस संस्कृत पेस सर वादा इंग्लिश को ईसिया वो ऐ एम कंफरबल वित् इंग्लिश मोर इंग मोर दैन तमिल ई हव कम टू प्रईज श्री राजाचार्य बट नाट टू बिलिटिल अदर फेज so i wanted to show, show some literary uh, embellishments in uh, a book called shri ramanuja champu now you might uh, know all of you might know i'm just uh, carrying uh, coals to uh, old kazal but um, um, by uh, reading through this uh, shri ramanuja champu written by ramanuja himself that in the sense another name say his name is also shri ramanuja acharya there may be a confusion of names in the case of adi shankara also many stotras have been written in the name of adi shankara but they are not sometimes uh, taken as original for example even the mo- most popular mohamudgaram otherwise called bhaja govindam some say it is not therefore well, let us go to the uh, uh, my name so just to um, so this is an introduction so you know the definition of a champu a simple definition is a combination a blend a happy blend of prose and poetry but uh, your hands are not restricted any poet can write any number of uh, 
stanzas in uh, Sanskrit and add prose passages in Sanskrit and there is no uh, definition how many pages of prose should be there and how many verses should be there. So you can have any number any time. So this is uh, author's bi biography. I am not going to read it then because I am given only 20 minutes. So I will send you the PPT uh, to your email or even WhatsApp. Uh, and if you give me at the end of the uh, session uh, your uh, number or email ID, then I can give you uh, all these details. So, so this is a, this is a beautiful description in the first shloka. Ramanuja Acharya was a very kaustuba gem. And uh, yesterday there was a lady presenting the seven roles of service done by Adishesha. Uh, corresponding to the nine verse uh, reduced to seven and uh, correspondingly what, what was the Kainkaryam of Adishesha and what was the Kainkaryam of Sri Ramanuja Acharya. In the same way, now one of the Kaustubha is supposed to be the source for Kulashekharalva, the king of Kerala. And therefore, in the same way, Ramanuja Acharya was a gem. Of course, there was a gem of person. So, arising out of the ocean called Vadhula Gotra, and he was crowned as the emperor of the wise, adept in both the scriptural philosophy in Sanskrit and Tamil Divya Prabhanda. Now, uh, this Ramanuja Acharya, I am talking about the author. So, Kalyana Valli Kalyanam is the name of the other work which he has written other than this Ramanuja Champu. And then, so he was the son of Sri Bhavana Acharya and so on. So let me uh, go to fast. So what are, what are the nature of, uh, what are the con contents here? So you, you know that Champu um, is uh, mixed with the verses and uh, prose passages and therefore, so you find that figures of speech, Alankaraha, namely Shabda Alankaraha based on sound and an Arthalankaraha based on meaning. So there are suggestions also, meaning dhani in Sanskrit. And therefore, uh, that will be the uh, nature of uh, the Samanuja Champu. Now, Lord Pranatatihara, we refer to it, uh, to the name in uh, Nyasa Dashakam, Sri Nyasa Dashakam of Vedanta Dejika in everyday Thiruvaradhanam. And Pranatatihara is equally uh, name to Lord Shiva in Thiruvayar, Panchanadishwaraha. Uh, pranatanam artim harati, more misspelled than given in correct spelling. Uh, here, Ramanujam, uh, here, so you find that there are aru arte in the Tamil Sulvanga. And the aru arte in the Ramanujam Champudi, Ramanujam Champudi, Ramanujam Champudi, every Sayyid Kana, Vare Varsala, Vare Sandala. So, Param Tatvam Soham, that is the first point, Madal Varte, Prapadanam Upayaha. Antima dasha smrte hai na ai eva apeksha vapuhu agame vapuhu apagame moksha gamanam. Just I think Madhusudanan said it, or some, I think Dr. T.K. Parsar said it. That is, uh, Alvar's statement is Maranamanal um, vaigundam uh, peru. Maranamanal vaigundam peru. The second Alvar statement is. Vinnavar aham puhuvadu tinna me in Alvar's statement. Two statements are there. So, Vaigundam Pannudu Mannavar Vidhi. There is no other way to escape from Vaigundam. So, Moksha Gamanam. Vapuhu Apagame Moksha Gamanam. Vishishtadvaitam Swam Matam. Api Mahapurna Bhajanam. So, go to the Acharya called Mahapurna. Shadap Karthan Yetan. This Six statements, Upanishadi, uh, Vaha Upanishadaha. This is the, what you call uh, a skill in condensing the six statements in single verse. So, though I am showing the literary skill of the author, uh, we are praising Ramanuja Acharya in every way. That is the thread running through this book. So, this is the translation which I just now told you. I think uh, it is very easy to know. So, the Ramani Champu consists of 10 chapters, so called as blossom bouquets, stabakaha, uh, so running up to 10. 
now one more definition so when you write a prose as a poet you are the best poet gadyam kavinam nikasham vadanti meaning prose is a testing stone for poets poetry is sometimes easy to write uh, they say but uh, i find uh, both are difficult after 55 years of study of sanskrit i still venture to write only shloka and recently i attempted uh, 11 syllables all the upajati but uh, i was not uh, regular no so the, this definition is given by barnabatta in his uh, uh, work called kadambari and uh, uh, he wrote two prose works that is the, the credit of barnabatta you know no poet in sanskrit has written two prose works because it is very difficult to write prose you are not, all of us may think that writing prose is very easy in tamil or english or something so he said definition is this navaha artha whenever you present a prose sentence you should give new meaning you should not give old meaning so navaha artha then jatihi agramya the style must be decent in the sense not belonging to a village in the sense there are so many rites in sanskrit style vaidar bhi riti hi gaudi riti hi and so on the vaidar bhi riti is the easiest one followed by kalidasa whereas uh, take vedanta desika it is very difficult draksha paaka ha as we say i mean sorry narikela paaka ha draksha paaka is very easy style narikela paaka is you have to break the coconut not only break the coconut climb the tree in, in your garden and then then pluck it and break the coconut and get the water there inside sweet water inside so jati hi agramya then whenever you write a sentence in sanskrit prose so you must get double meaning sleshaha sleshaha the skill should come automatically to the word you should not pick up the word from amarakosha that's the so when because you have memorized 2000 shlokas of amarakosha you cannot choose pick the words from the amarakosha the automatic overflow of your feelings and emotions should come in the form of a poem or prose and therefore so you, uh, when you write a sentence in sanskrit then uh, the sentiment must be clear whether it is hasyam or the shingaram you have not 11 sentiments bhakti or uh, vatsalyam an affection towards the child so everything must be very clear you should not get confused over which sentiment is this because now there is putaha rasaha now i'll give you one example of uh, though, though i am re- dealing with ramanuja jampu confined to 20 minutes so i am just giving you one example prabhakar vardhana in his harsha charita in barnabatta's harsha charita uh, he is in death bed a doctor aged 16 he passed mbbs at the age of 16 today we see some young people passing in many examinations so uh, one 16 year old young boy comes and says uh, the sons are asking how about our father will he survive or will he go so uh, he says swargastha bhavishyati swargastha bhavishyati or no i am not saying the right word swastha bhavishyati so the swastha bhavishyati will become swargastha according to some generally as we say ஸ்வஸ்தமாயிடுவார் அப்படின்னா சரியாயிடும்னு அர்த்தம் பட் ஸ்வஸ்தாக பவிஷத்தின்னா சீக்கிரமே போயிடுவார்னு அர்த்தம் அதனால் டபுள் மீனிங் அதனால் ஒரு சிங்கிள் வேர்ட் ஸ்வஸ் ஸ்வஸ்தா ஹேஸ் காட் டூ மீனிங் தட் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ஸ்லேஷாக அக்லிஷாக எனி படி ஹூ இஸ் அ பிகினர் இன் சான்ஸ்கிரிட் ஷுட் பி ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் ஷுட் பி தி ஸ்டைல் தென் விக்கட்டாக்ஷர பந்தக டோன்ட் திங்க் தட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டேக் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பாரவி ஸ்கிராத்தார்ஜுனியம் the first poet who wrote shabda alankara uh, poem uh, in his uh, 15th canto of kirata arjuniyam he applied 72 games gymnastics of words and uh, one of i just one quote one because one pada will be four time uh, totally repeated vikasa miyu jagadisha marganaha it has got four meanings poem is over poem is over this is the last verse in the 15th canto vikasham iyuhu jagadisha marganaha you can go home and try to find out four meanings 
because lord shiva is fighting with arjuna so what is the this is the context and then arjuna is uh, blessed by lord shiva with the pashupata astra and then arjuna is considered the hero that's all the winner uh, he is a forerunner bharavi is a forerunner later on magha then shiharsha magha of uh, uh, shishupalavadham and shiharsha of uh, naishadhi uh, etam they followed this style of shabdalankara you find vedanta deshika using pratyat paddhati of padaka shastram with uh, many shabdalankaras and then yadavabhidhim in the sixth canto vedanta deshika uses shabdalankara now so uh, all this thing now the another definition again uh, is a pratyaksha shabda shlesham shlesha maya so each letter must have double meaning प्रत्यक्षर श्लेषमय प्रपंच विन्यास वैदग्ध निधि गद्य कवि य प्रोस् पॉइंट य प्रोज रईटर शुड हाव दिस् स्कि दंपू विल बी रुचिर स्वर वर्ण पद इफ यू रईट अ पोयम आर पोयट्री एंड कंबईन दम दि ईच लेटर शुड बी इंटरेस्टिंग यू शुड बी इंटरेस्टिंग रुचिर स्वर्ण पद रसभावती ई थिंक Touch some other button. So uh, sorry, uh, right? So so uh, asa bhava vati jagan manoharat. It should attract the entire world, not a, a coterie or audience. So we go to the. So this is the first chapter. So because of restricted uh, time, I am just giving some only best examples of these ten chapters. So only one example is given for each chapter. So an auspicious start is given Mangala Shloka, as you know, uh, Sri Perumbudu. So how do you, how does he say the Sri Perumbudu? So the first prayer is called the Mangala Charan. Sri Ranga Chma Murugakshi Muruga Madha Makari Sakya Jendi Varalihi. So so on. You can read the easily. So the meaning is also there. So uh, there are there are. Uh, some beauties here six metaphors are there rupakam vide kalin kalin in sanskrit and urvaham in tamil urvaham ani illa aar urvaham ani irukku avara shabdalankara yamakam irukku shabdalankarathla yamakam nu oru type irukku adhaavadhu rendu eluthu repeat aagum andha rendu eluthu repeat aana adhu vera artham varum combination vera maari irukku appadi adhukku peru shabdalankara yamakam nu peru அப்புறம் என்ன முத்ரா முத்ரா அண்ட் அப்படின்னு இருக்கு அதுக்கப்புறம் பங்க ஸ்லேஷாகன்னு இருக்கு டபுள் மீனிங்ல ரெண்டு வெரைட்டி இருக்கு ஒன்று வந்து ஹண்ட் ஸ்லேஷாக யூ டேக் ஈச் வேர்ட் இட் கிவ்ஸ் யூ டூ மீனிங்ஸ் வேர் ஆஸ் இஃப் யூ டேக் ஒன் வேர்ட் கிவ் டூ இன்டர்பிரேஷன் ஸோ தட் வில் பி ஸோ ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் இன் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வர்ஸ் இட் செல்ஃப் ஸோ தெர் ஆர் செவன்டி ஸ்டாண்டர்ட்ஸ் இன் வேரியஸ் மீட்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஜஸ்ட் ஷோ யூ ஒன் ப்ரோஸ் பேசேஜ் ஹியர் but i am not uh, um, displaying it but i am just saying it so prose definition is there there are two main qualities in the prose namely when you read the prose you will see the majesty in description ojaha ojaha is majesty the other one is long compounds long compounds i will tell you one example from medan that is a poem he wrote a love letter to vidyaranya he said choni kona சதாம்ச பாலன கலா துர்வார கர்வானல க்ஷுப்ய க்ஷுத்ர நரேந்திர ஜாடு ரஜனா தன்யான் மன்யாமகே திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் வேர்ட் தன்யான் மன்யாமகே இஸ் தியர் லாஸ்ட் டூ வேர்ட்ஸ் த அதர் ஆஃப் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ஓன்லி ஒன் வேர்ட் ஸோ தட் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ஸோ திவிதிய ஸ்தபக ஸோ நவ் ராமானுஜா இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி பார்ன் ஸோ கேசவாத்ரி இஸ் தி ஃபாதர் இன் தேர் ஃபார் she becomes ancient she becomes uh, rather cr- crudely saying pregnant she will be in the family way so ramanuja will be incarnating so uh, she shaila purna blesses and the performance of naming ritual you know namakaranam on 11th day is being performed so how did he describe gaurangya gauravam bheje madhyam sukshma vikramat laghur gurur ghanam baat bhavati iti kim adbhutam this is a very beautiful verse in single i mean just two lines saying a lagu letter a light syllable has become a heavy syllable guru syllable 
How can a lagu syllable can become guru syllable? Light syllable can become guru syllable. The lady was lean in character because she was uh, having the baby in the uh, belly. So she became fat and then again she became. So this has been already um, uh, beautifully described by King Boja in his uh, Rama and Champu. So you find the beauty here. So we go to the next example in the second uh, tabaka, uh, subtle suggestion. So Purusha, this is actually what we call soul of poetry according to Ananda Vardhana's uh, Dhanya Loka. And therefore, Purusha Vyagrata Mesha Bharishyati Ite Nasamshayaha Iti Vyagra Nakho Petam Vihitam Kantha Bhushanam. Tamil is not an anarch of the castle. Koranda Parnavar Pade. The Puli Nahate, Dajamanga Chari, Porter Nala and Nace, our Pulia, Puli the Santa, Nala, best man up. Nara Shardu and Ramana Kuburo, Almari Vyagraha, Purusha Vyagrata. Is a lamanga pun on the word, double meaning in the word, as well as Alankara plus. The exact uh, situation. Then we go to third uh, sabaka. Again, I am going to skip it now. Uh, now, under the uh, prosody, uh, namely chandas, as we say in Sanskrit, chandas has three meanings. Chandas means scripture, chandas means prosody, chandas means will. At your will, you can write. So, that is chandas. So, uh, we have got uh, the maximum, sraddhara vrittam in this Ramanuja Champu. Uh, which we use with 21 syllables per quarter. So it will be 84 syllables per uh, verse. So it's a maximum size so far we are using. Actually 26 letters syllables per quarter can be used. You, you have freedom to use. But the beyond 26 is called the Dandakam. Take for example Garuda Dandakam of Sri Vedanta Deshika. So here next one. So this is the, I am not giving the entire passage in prose. Asti Mahabhuta Puri Nama Nagari. You find a full page. So that's what I said earlier. So we now when Ramanuja Acharya wrote this Ramanuja Champu, then we will understand how skilled is the poet and how difficult it is to write this, such work. So only when we read that we will understand. Uh, jump into the water and learn swimming. So you cannot uh, theoretically learn swimming. Uh, now the simplest verse that I wanted to show from third uh, bunch, namely Ramo Ramanuja Neva Krishna Neva Halayudaha Soyam Ramanujo Reje Govindena Samam Patan. Now look at the beauty. Rama's incarnation had Lakshmana as his companion. Krishna's incarnation had his companion in Balarama. And therefore, Ramanuja Acharya had the companion in Govinda. So that is the beauty here. So both were friends. And so you find that uh, the simplest, uh, the word, the words also are yeah, Ramanuja Naivam, the previous line is Ramanuja, Reje, letters are repeated. Now this is the fourth one. So again I am skipping the... Uh, like, uh, okay, right. So uh, I think I'm cut short um, like the uh, chairperson yesterday. So uh, here uh, I wanted to just uh, uh, go to fourth bunch and then uh, we'll skip to tenth bunch. Now here you find the ta repeated, ta repeated shabda alankara, and uh, when uh, uh, the, when, there, when there was an argument between the other. <coughs> Beliefs and Ramanuja Acharya's Vishishtadvaita Matam, then this was the uh, verse. I just read it. Abhyachashta spashtam advaita vacham drishto hrishta shishta koshtim pravishtaha dikkurvanastam kudrishtim vishishtadvaita arthatvam lakshmanaryo yateshtam. So, so I am going just to, uh, going to the. Uh, so this is a prose passage. passage. This, this is the beauty of this prose passage is questions and answers are there in the prose passage. How come, can, can, can all of us write, uh, though we are scholars in Sanskrit, can we write this way? Questions and answers are in the same post passage. Then, so we have, uh, um, 
So seventh uh, bunch also contains a lot of uh, uh, Ramanuja's winding arguments, uh, and then we go to the eighth. This is like only one thing uh, because he said, "Time is up, my your time is over." Uh, so we go to the eighth one. Now this is a very beautiful verse. Look at that. Sheshi Sheshascha Janavanai. Lord Shiman Narayana took incarnations and especially like Lakshman, I mean, Adi Shesha taking Lakshman Avatara in the Krishna Avatara, Balarama Avatara and the Faras, Faras as Ramanuja Acharya. So Sheshi is Shiman Narayana, Shesha is Adi Shesha. Jana Avanai in order to protect people like us. But, but there are two people in the same name, Ramanuja Chau, Manujau Prajato. So, Ramanuja has two people. So, Rama's anger brother. So, Manujo Prajato, Parthaya Purvaha Charamartha Dobhut, Anyahatu Aparthaya Chetat Pradayi. This is the beauty here. What we call contradiction in Sanskrit, namely Virodha, Virodha Basaha Lankara. That is what we call distinction, namely. So, Krishna Avatara. The younger brother of Balarama was born to advise Arjuna and people like us. Whereas in uh, Kali Yuga, Ramanuja was born, the, el, the younger brother of, uh, uh, rather Ramanuja is the name of the uh, Adishesha Avatara. He wanted to dismiss the wrong meanings. The previous word is Parthaya, the second word is Apartha. Yesterday, Dr. Karunakaracha Swami was uh, uh, deliberating on two words. Dharmata and Adharmata and in the same way here also we find. So we go to the almost last one. So ninth Stabaka is the shortest uh, uh, portion with just 25 stanzas. Uh, now earlier I told you there is no restriction that you can write, you should write so many verses and so, so many passages in prose. So, so we go to the last one. So Shiman. Ramanujaryo Yavana Vibhusutam. So this is uh, already been referred by Mrs. Raja Rikshmi yesterday that uh, uh, Ramanujacharya was more useful to the society than all other Acharyas of his times. And therefore he saved many people, especially a girl. So uh, that, that girl was a Muslim girl, Tulukanachiyar. And when uh, Ramanuja Acharya approached the king, the Muslim king, he said, my daughter has got 400 dolls and they are dolls for us, for her. She is playing with those dolls. If you want to take it up, you, you call and then if the doll comes to your hand, then uh, I will give it to you as a gift, return to you as a gift. He said, Challapillaye Varum. Then the particular idol called Ramapriya, came to Ramanuja Acharya's hands and he took it to Melkote and then now you also call him Shaluva Pille, Shaluva Narayana, Sampat Kumara, Tirunarayana and so on. So, and uh, even now that Muslim girl is seen at, at the divine feet of Ramapri. That is it. So that is how this is what uh, it means here. So, Dikkantali Dukulayitam Mahita Lasat Kirti Purtyam Ibhase. Uh, so this is the last verse, Mangala Shasana, uh, condescending to the request of uh, the MC here. So we are always afraid of MC because they will take more time than the speaker. So uh, here it is not. So uh, already my role was uh, played by Krishnaveni Madam uh, yesterday and therefore I declined the offer today to be a chairman. Therefore Sriman Ramanujarya Shrita. Aryashita Nirvahana Paritrana Chaturya Duryaha Pralaya Aharya Dhairyaha Prati Kathaka Ganas Thairya Vidvansi Charyaha Maryado Peta Charya Madita Hiraya Sadvarya Sridhyate Saha Paryaha Shesha Sheshaha Sakshat Rudhitaha Jagati Vijayatam Keshavarja Suni. So let us all hail Ramanuja Acharya and uh, you find this. Uh, particular passage in Sanskrit has been translated from the uh, Sri Vishnu Mohan Foundation here which gave up, uh, which gave about Ramanuja. I translated it into Sanskrit, it was in English and therefore this is the last uh, paragraph. Uh,
uh, now I my gratitude goes to one Mr. Chandrasekhar, who is a very great expert and uh, disciple of Sri Krishna Premiyana, and he gave me the verse. Why did uh, Ramanuja Acharya, the author, choose the prose? That is because in writing poem, you will have a restriction of 26 syllables per quarter. If you are writing 27, it is Dandakam. And therefore, this becomes a prose. So, because, because of the limited number of syllables, Mitaksharani, Padyani, Namiyante, Harer Gunaha, the unlimited auspicious qualities of Shivan Narayana cannot be contained in a single verse. And therefore, Iti Padyaihi Tushyantaha, normally those who write, read poetry and relish it will uh, take, take a prose passage. Gadyena Tushtu. They became happy on writing the prose. Uh, Dr. TKP deserves my applause for uh, including me here in this seminar and making me a chairperson yesterday also. And then he has uh, uh, been coordinating uh, the activities of uh, Sri Vishnu Bhavan Foundation. So he always thinks of me when uh, the organization thinks of uh, 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 about Ramanuja Acharya or any Sri Vishnu Acharya. I was uh, also happy that my dissertation of MPhil uh, uh, titled Sri Stuti of Sri Vedanta Chika has been released by the Swamiji of this uh, Sri Vishnu Mohan Foundation. Uh, and then uh, uh, last but not the least, I wanted to just uh, give you just one verse out of the eight verses I have written in Sanskrit uh, to praise this foundation. Only one. Uh, uh, just a second. So, Jnanam Atma Vikasaya. This foundation is based on the principle. Jnanam Atma Vikasaya. Namata yei pavitrata. When you are humble, you are pure. So, Anushthanantare Nityam. Anushthanat Nare Nityam. Guru Bhakti hi Vivardhati. So, when we come to this uh, foundation, we increase our devotion. So thank you very much. Dhanya Vadaha uh, Sarve Bhya. Kavitar Kikasimhaya Kalyana Gunasalini Shimate Venkate Shaya Vedanta Gravirma.